when the first time I saw a computer and I was like, everyone wanted to play around with it. And I was like, I want to change things. I got quickly into modifying game engines. Back then, Doom was all the rage, the mother of all first person shooters. And yes. I was like, okay, I want not to kill enemies. I want to build my own world. I want to understand how it's working. This is actually the first time I heard about the phrase AI. Do you think we should like use that? frankly, umbrella term AI for anything, or should we like be more specific? Because you also mentioned machine learning, which was more the thing where everyone was already picking it up. Oh, this is AI now. And I was like, no, oh, it's actually training and predicting things based on the data set, right? Absolutely. So I think artificial intelligence was coined at least, it was back in the 1800s. It may not be the most apt word for what we envision intelligence that is on computers making smart decisions. However, it is an overarching term that we use for that particular field and for familiarity purposes. I think it's an appropriate word to use. Artificial, if you really broke it down, I would say artificial is just not created by natural evolution. So it's not from biology, it's not over millions of years, it was fabricated by something. Mm -hmm. So artificial being just, it was fabricated, not necessarily man-made because, I mean, there is the idea that artificial intelligent agents can create more artificial intelligence. And that would not technically be man-made. It would still be artificial. And obviously, intelligence refers to making decisions with purpose or agency. I think agency is kind of the centerfold of artificial intelligence. And I think your example of NPCs or non-playable characters in video games, those are a very good example of an agent, something that acts somewhat intelligently and makes its own decisions, but no user involvement is really necessary. It will simply mm -hmm. respond to user involvement, or you might just see NPCs fighting each other as we've seen in games. So like you just yeah, sit true. there and you just sit there and watch them play each other. So those are agency is the concept of having the ability to make decisions autonomously without external help. For example, even a dog is an agent. It, it is able to walk around, hunt food, or if it's not domesticated, if it's out in the wild, it's able to make decisions of its own volition purposefully with some level of intelligence. Now, intelligence isn't actually absolutely necessary for something to be an agent. For example, like a Roomba is probably one of the most least intelligent robots out there. It just bumps into things and sometimes yeah. even leaves a dirty radius around where it bumped into your ankle. But that is technically an agent. I would classify that as artificial intelligence as well. And to come back to machine learning is simply a field under artificial intelligence that is a fancy way of just using statistics to make yeah. what's called predictive models. So in, in its earliest, in its most nascent form, machine learning and LLMs are predictive models that use mathematics and statistics to simply try to foresee the future or to make uh, accommodations for what might happen in the future, as well as make educated choices and decisions. So agency uh, or agents typically have um, some form of machine learning predictive model. Now ours, ours is our brain and other ones like the Roomba, its machine learning model is simply mapping, if, if it's that sophisticated, mapping the, your house or simply just bumping into walls.